heavyweight title. We go into round one of this scheduled 15 round fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. Max Schmeling with back to camera is six foot one inch tall and weighed in this afternoon at 188 pounds. Jack Sharkey on your right is an even six foot and scaled nine pounds more than Schmeling coming in at 197 pounds. Sharkey is a stand up type fighter combining a solid left jab and a good right cross with excellent defense. Jack's tough, extremely aggressive, and can take a punch very well. Notice how Sharky, to your left, keeps sticking out that long left jab. He intends to keep Max off balance by not letting Schmeling get set. Max Schmeling uses his left primarily to measure his opponent rather than to do any real damage with the punch. But behind that left jab, Schmeling employs the most powerful straight right hand punch to the jaw in the heavyweight division. Both men are content to fight conservatively here in round one. Although they both have had a great deal of professional experience, neither has ever fought the 15 round distance which this heavyweight championship fight is scheduled for. Watch Schmeling get in a hard right. That's the punch Sharkey knows he's got to be wary of. Schmeling had his first professional fight in Germany six years ago in 1924. This is his 52nd professional fight, of which 30 were won by the knockout route. Round one is scored evenly by the judges with neither fighter gaining any type of an advantage. As round two opens, both Schmeling and Sharkey appeared to be a little more aggressive. Both men have decided to press the action a little more here in round two. An indication of the power in Max's right hand lies in the fact that all of his 30 KOs were scored or were the result of a straight right hand punch to the jaw. Just four months ago, Max knocked out Johnny Risco in nine rounds with one smashing right. The boxing writers wrote that they had never seen anything like it and that Schmeling seemed to be the heir apparent to the heavyweight title. This fight for the heavyweight championship came about as a result of the retirement of former champion Gene Tunney. After knocking out Tom Heaney just two years ago, Tunney announced his retirement and stated that he would never again enter the ring. With the retirement of Tunney, the two outstanding heavyweights in the division were Max Schmeling and Jack Sharkey. Watch Sharkey press the action. Jack gets away quickly after he's through punching. Watch Sharkey double up on his left jab and then drive in a solid right. 
Jack is showing a great deal of boxing skill along with his acknowledged punching power. Sharky is given the second round by both judges and referee Jim Crowley. When we return on Big Fights Boxing Hour, we'll have the rest of the 1930 Jack Sharkey Max Schmeling Heavyweight Championship fight. We now return to Big Fights Boxing Hour on ESPN Classic. The fighters come out fast for round three, looking for an advantage, both hoping to get an edge early in the fight. Schmeling will get in with a strong right to the head. If that punch lands on the point of the chin, Schmeling usually watches them fall to the canvas. Now you'll see Sharkey get in the best punches of the fight thus far. Two jolting rights, followed by a powerful right uppercut and left hook. Max took those very well. Sharkey lands with a blistering right to the head. Schmeling has an iron jaw and tremendous courage. He needs both to withstand that type of punching. Sharkey clearly takes round three, scoring the hardest punches of the fight thus far. As we go into the fourth round, Sharkey seems to be in command of the fight. He's been beating Schmeling to the punch, and he appears to be the stronger of the two. He's definitely ahead on points, and while it's still early, the pattern of the fight seems to have been made. Schmeling fighting in that half crouch, while Sharkey has the straight-up boxing style, using that left to keep his opponent off balance. Schmeling is 25 years old and was born in Frankfurt, Germany. Max has been nicknamed by the sporting press the Black Eulen. Sharkey is 28 years of age and was born in Binghamton, New York. Jack's fighting career started in the Navy in Boston. As a result, the press nicknamed Jack the Boston God. Three years ago, Sharkey fought the Manassa Mauler, Jack Dempsey, here in New York. Going into the seventh round, Sharkey was way ahead on points. But in that fateful seventh, a controversial knockout punch was landed by Dempsey, which temporarily set back Sharkey's title hopes. Schmeling rushes in, he'll be met with a solid right. Although Schmeling has the more famous right, it's Sharkey who is doing all the landing. Now watch very closely. Schmeling will step in to throw a right, and as he does, Sharkey will land a powerful left, which is obviously an accidental low blow. Schmeling goes down from the punch, and he starts to signal to his corner that the punch was foul. The referee does not start a count, and Schmeling's seconds rush into the ring and half carry and half drag Max to his corner. 
Everyone is confused, and Schmeling's cornermen are screaming foul. The referee goes over to check as to whether Schmeling can continue. Sharkey steps over to Schmeling's corner in an attempt to find out how Max is and what's going to happen. Let's take another look at that punch using the stop-action camera to find out exactly where it landed. Again, Schmeling will come in to throw a right as Sharkey unintentionally lands that low left. Now you can see exactly where the punch landed, and Schmeling goes down. After consulting with the judges, announcer Joe Humphreys goes over to Max's corner and raises Schmeling's right hand, signifying a new heavyweight champion of the world. Max Schmeling wins the heavyweight championship on a foul, June 12, 1930, in New York City. Max Schmeling's victory over Jack Sharkey on the low blow foul in 1930 marked the first time a challenger had gained the title while lying on the canvas. In all the confusion in that fourth round, several of the 79,222 fans at Yankee Stadium probably remembered Sharkey's alleged low blows in his previous win over Englishman Phil Scott in Miami. Sharkey had got the win in that bout after fainting Phil squirmed on the canvas claiming Sharkey had hit him below the belt several times. Referee Lou Magnolia wanted none of that and gave Sharkey